Gary Rowett's press conference started with a look back at Tuesday's result, where a point against Reading sees Blues unbeaten in their last three games without conceding a goal. Uh, I think on the back of the previous two games, uh, you always know that it's going to be difficult to keep replicating that type of performance because I thought against Norwich and against Fulham we were we were excellent. You know we were really really good and ever so pleased with with lots of aspects of those performances. Um, Redden's always difficult. Tuesday night, second away game in a row. Um, you know we've got players trying to replicate the same kind of intensity. Uh, not long after, I think they had an extra, almost an extra 24 hours um, on us. So I think in terms of that, I was quite pleased with the, 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 the solid nature of our performance. I thought that um, we showed, once again, a real determination and resilience to not concede a goal. Um, maybe at the other end, if we'd have took one or two of our set-piece chances, then it could have been a, 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 an even better evening. But to take seven points from the three games and, and to be slightly disappointed about the way we used the ball in transition, when we won the ball back, you know, we didn't use it as well. We didn't spring forward as quickly. We didn't play as many balls into people running forward towards the opponent's goal. And, and um, you know, I felt that was probably the big, the big, um, the big negative on the evening. But again, we'll be happy with that. We kept a clean sheet away from home. That's, that's a really good start. Um, you know, if you gave me a clean sheet in every away game, and you know, I'd almost take us not scoring because a point away from home is always a a very, very good point. So, uh, But we've got to back that up with another good performance at home. Lukas Djukovic and David Cottrell both came into the side at the Medeski and the manager was pleased with the impact they made. Yeah, I think, again, uh, we've got a good enough squad to do that occasionally. It's always a tricky one because you don't really want to try and change a winning side. You know, there's often the old mantra for most managers that will say that you don't like to change a winning side. I just felt we've got some big games coming up. I felt as though we had two good results, so it was a good opportunity away from home to see if we can keep that energy level up. And I thought Lucas gave us that energy level. I uh, thought in spells of the game, you know, he held the ball up well. He's looked dangerous. He's had shots in in both games, you know, for Fulham game that he came on. So he's been a he's been a goal for it. I think he had two or three other chances from set pieces and one shot in open play. So again, he's he's doing his job and he's been a goal for it. I thought Cox put some good delivery in, uh, worked hard. Again, for any of those attacking players, it's you know until you've had sort of three, four, five games on the spin, which is difficult when the team's playing well. It's hard to really judge those players solely on their performance. But I thought for a, a one-off game to come in and do a really, really good job, I thought they both both contributed really well to a team performance. Gary Rowett was also quick to praise the professionalism of Adam Legstins, who was a late replacement for Thomas Kushak in goal after he got injured during the warm-up. Yeah, and under difficult circumstances as well. I think psychologically, that's never easy, is it? When you've, as much as you know, anyone would say to you, they prepare always to play if they're on the bench. You know, there's always that little bit of you that's probably slightly more relaxed than you would normally be, slightly less concentrated than you normally would be. So, to be told sort of 45 minutes before kickoff he was playing, um, I would imagine you know could have unsettled anyone. But as ever, he comes in, does a professional job. I think he admitted himself that didn't have loads to do, which was testament once again to our, our defence and, and not just the defence, but the whole team, the way the whole team defended. Um, but what he did have to do, you know, he did it, he did it um, really professionally. Blues have made a good start to the season, sitting in fifth place, something Rao is happy about, despite not taking too much notice of the league table at this early stage of the campaign. You get satisfaction seeing your team. I said this recently, but, you know, someone said, oh, you, you hear people saying the same, though, the table means nothing at the moment. No, it doesn't, but I'd, I'd rather look at the table and see my team nearer to the top. And I think you'd be stupid to, to think you, you're not bothered if your team's nearer to the bottom, you know, because you've got a lot more work to do to catch everyone up. So um, I still look at the table. I don't take much precedent in it, but I have my own calculations of, you know, where we are on the table, how many points we have per set of games and how that equates to what you've got to do on average to finish where you want to finish. Um, so, of course, to start well and to build some decent points up early on just sets you off on that path that you, you hope for rather than playing catch-up. So now it's up to us to maintain that, um, you know, that sort of, as I said, that's that strong backbone that we've showed in, in the games uh, and keep building those performances. Saturday's opponent Sheffield Wednesday took six points off Blues last season 
and Rowett expects another tough test this weekend. I'd, I'd expect him to be up there. I think when you've spent um, the amount of money you've spent, you know, in terms of enticing someone like Stephen Fletcher to the club and keeping Forrestier area at the club and bringing Gary Hooper and you know, got listen, they've got an array of fantastic attacking talent, but. You know, it means nothing when you when the whistle goes and you, and you start the game. You know, it just means you have to come out with a clear game plan to stop them. It means defensively your players are going to have to be good to stop those players, but it also means that they're going to have to stop ours. And, and as we saw with the last home game, you know, a very very good team who spent a lot of money um, struggled to stop us. So um, you know, that's what we've got to be mindful of. But we we just I don't look too much about. You know, I don't think the results are, are the first thing in your mind. I think it's about improving and trying to constantly look at things that you're not doing as well and without losing the things that you do do well. Um, you know, and I think that's always our our challenge of that sort of continuous improvement as we uh, as we go through the season.